Hello and welcome to my latest video. Now this is going to be the first craft video that I do on this channel. Um, first of all I wanted to start off with saying thank you to everyone that subscribed to me um, so far. I've reached 100, I think about 100 subscribers um, and apologies for the lack of videos <laughs> to start off with. <laughs> um, yeah so this um like i was saying this is going to be my first um craft video so this isn't going to be for everybody um i know not everyone's going to enjoy this kind of video um it is going to be a knitting video um and i am going to be knitting a dog jumper it's actually a christmas dog jumper um so i ordered a, a pattern off of ebay um this is the pattern I'm going to be using. Um, it's by King Cole and it is pattern number 4115. Um, and you can see there are a variety of dog jumpers you can do. Now you can choose not to make it a Christmas jumper and you can use the pattern just to um, knit up your own um, design or your own colours. You don't have to actually have to make it Christmassy. I wanted to knit a Christmas jumper for my dog um, and those there we go that's a better picture of it those are the patterns that it includes so um, I'm going to be doing this one the little reindeer um, and if you bear with me I will show you who I'm going to knit it for okay so this is Alfie um, he is a puggle he's crossed between a um, pug and a beagle now he is the one I'm going to be knitting the jumper for now he's a small to medium sized dog I'm gonna measure him just to make sure I knit up the right size for him um, we've only had him about five weeks he's actually three years old and we um, we actually adopted him from a dog rehoming center which was local to us um, so this is a little guy I'm gonna be knitting the jumper for little Christmas jumper for so um, I'm gonna get on with it I'm gonna try and share as much as I can with you um, and then Alfie's going to model it at the end for me. So this is the wall that I'm going to be knitting with. It's by King Cole. Um, it's a merino um, blend DK. Um, and I, I've ordered shade 9, which is scarlet. Um, shade 1529, which is Sahara. And shade number 23, which is chocolate, which is like a really dark brown. Um, okay quick update so I've been knitting for about two two and a half hours this evening um, so far with my progress um, I've managed to do like the bottom hem in the rib and then starting to do the main section of the jumper with like the garter stitch border um, would have liked to have gotten a little bit more done this evening but I'm tired so I'm going off to bed um, and I'll give you a bit of an update tomorrow. Okay, so this is the finished jumper. I haven't tried it on Alfie yet. Um, I feel like I had a few tension issues on the reindeer with changing the colour. But I think that just takes more practice. It's the first time I've actually used this technique to actually do the colours. I've used, I've um, done colour changing before when doing like stripes and things like that. And that's slightly easier because it's, it's at the edges. So you're not having to carry the wall behind the actual pattern. And I think that's where I had the tension issues. But um, I think it got better towards the top of the pattern. Um, it's a rib underneath here which is very stretchy and it's ribbed all around the neck. So I am just gonna find Alfie and get him to try it on for me. So I'm actually really happy. It actually fits Alfie, he's going back into his bed. Come on Alf, come on. There we go. So it fits Alfie. Um, if anything, I probably would have made the neck a little bit longer. Um, because it's said to do it about nine centimeters so you could fold it over. I probably would have done it a little bit longer, but then saying that, I can still get his collar there. Um, yeah, so pretty happy with that on 
little Alfie. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section and I will try and answer as soon as possible. Um, and hope you all have a happy Christmas. So see you in the next video.